So, I was not supposed to make this video today, but I just woke up and I was like, I should have a, a small talk about this attempt at the, uh, the Witch Nebula. Uh, so, I, I was hoping to have this as my first official attempt at APOD, and so I met someone whose name is John, who is a, a follower as well, and um, he invited me to his site in the desert, because he has a site where it's a bottle 1 slash bottle 2 zone, and um, so I drove about three to four hours. Uh, it's in Arizona, and um, I was so hopeful about getting a pod with the witch head that I was like, you know what, let's do it. He told me the road was gonna be very really rough, and I was like, eh, it's fine, don't worry. But the road was crazy. The road was insane. This, look at this. This was just the beginning. Holy crap. Fun. It's gonna be very, very fun. Uh oh. Oof, my four tires. Oh man. And that was just the beginning. I had to get out of my car and move rocks and stuff. It was insane. So when I got there, I'm not going to say where it is, uh, I'm just going to say it's in Arizona. I don't want to disclose the location, you know, by respect for, for John. But um, this was a very nice open area, it was beautiful, there were cows everywhere, it was amazing. My goal was to use my Atlas EQG mount, as always, with the mid 70mm telescope and the uh, ASI 1600 mono camera. So I'm going to show you guys what the pictures look like for each channel. So if you want to see this, you can go on our website. Everything is there already, but I'm going to show you here anyway. Uh, so this is the, um, the combined image. I think it's one hour on the witch head using the luminance filter. This is 30 minutes using the red filter. This is 30 minutes as well using the green filter. And this is 30 minutes using the blue filter. My goal was to spend the entire night on the witch head. Sadly, there were some high clouds that came out of nowhere. Uh, everything became blurry. I was so sad. You have no idea how sad I was to have driven so much, you know, so long in this rough uh, dirt roads. And for the plan for my, you know, first attempt at iPod to be destroyed by stupid high clouds. And uh, if you guys want to see why, I mean, how I, I knew there was high clouds. I switched target to the California Nebula for just a while because I was like, why is the witch head blurry now? So I switched to a different target and even there there was clouds. So you can see before with no clouds and after with clouds. And then I was like, you know what? It's over. I can't do anything else. So instead of spending, you know, eight hours on the witch head, I only had time to spend two hours and a half. And I, I believe, I don't want to, you know, toot my own horn, but I believe if I did spend eight hours on the, on the witch head, there would have been some hope for iPod, maybe, you know. But anyway, so those were the combined channels. Now, this is a mono camera. I, I pretty much always use a mono camera. Um, so the processing was difficult, yes, that's for sure. The witch head is one of the most difficult targets to process, in my opinion, because, well, it's all gray, first of all, and, you know, it's really difficult to tell where, it, where the gas is. Like, for example, the, the head here, the gas is so for faint, um, you don't really know, you know, when you do your mask and stuff, you don't really know where to end the mask, but, um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, yeah, so I decided for the, for the A-Pod attempt to, uh, to, to do something unique, so I wanted to include Rigel in there. Some people might think it looks like M-Glow, uh, but it's not, this is actually Rigel. I, I framed it, this is only possible if you frame it just right, for the star to be out of the frame, but still shine towards the sensor, so it, it does this reflection here. And we discovered this by accident during our M103 attempt, which I showed you guys already, but here it is. And I was like, you know what, for the witch head, I love Rigel, and I really want to include Rigel in there, but because of the focal length of the telescope and camera, I, there was no way. So I told myself, you know what, let's take a risk. People might not like it, people might love it, I don't know, but 
I like it. I'm going to include Rydal in there somehow and this is what happened. So tell me if you guys like it or not. It's, I know it's strange, but if you're going for a pod, I was like, you know what, let's do something unique and hopefully they will love it. Sadly, the night was cut short, so thank you, Klaus, for ruining that, but it's fine. But anyway, the, the processing, yeah, you might be surprised, but I go through the same processing workflow every single time. And uh, if you want to, uh, to take a look at it, I actually made a, a PDF version of it. Because some, when I don't process for a long time, I usually open a PDF with my, with my personal notes on it, on the side, so I make sure I don't forget anything. I made this PDF for Patreon, you know, to give away for the patrons, but if you guys want to, uh, to get this file as well, it's very short and straight to the point, you can go on the website, or, or the link below, I have a link somewhere if you want it. The final image is okay, I, I mean, I like it, it was very difficult to process, there was one satellite that was very, very slow and that was throughout like several frames and I couldn't just delete like, you know, 10 frames because of this one satellite. So I had to, uh, to use Lightroom to kind of try to hide it later after, after Pix inside. But overall it looks nice, I would say. Someone asked on Instagram why there was some kind of blue tint, like did I add the blue in there? Uh, no, I didn't add any colors. The, the color you see is natural and um, the, the color you see here is just the, the color of the witch head, it's, it's blue slash purple. And also you might wonder why there is, uh, why are there only Rigel's glow on, on the luminance filter and on the red filter? That's because after the red filter, the, the ASI Air decided to do a, what I think is a useless meridian flip. There was no point of doing it and um, it did anyway, automatically. And uh, when it reframed it, it did not reframe it precisely enough for the glow to be in there, for the rest of the images, so that's why. But yeah, tell me what you guys think about this image. Um, yeah, I'm just sad because I was really hoping for at least an iPod worthy one. This is a bit noisy still for my, in my opinion, to be iPod, but, um, but yeah, I, I'll have a, a second attempt soon. I'm not sure which target yet, but We'll have a second attempt on a part soon, and um, we'll see about the witch next year maybe, we'll try again. Alright, thank you guys. We'll have a new video really soon. You might wonder why this wall behind me is all white, but you will see soon in a few days. Alright, we'll see you next time, and uh, kiss guys.